Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today we have Bleu Chanel Parfum. Now, this has been one of my most favorite things to wear currently. I've been wearing it for the past three or four days to prepare for this video, and man, I'm just, I'm just loving it. I got, I gotta say that right now. Now, today in this video, we have a lot of things to cover. We're gonna be answering some questions about this fragrance, of course. Number one being, is it worth? your money. Number two, is it better than the EDP? That's a really, really important question. Number three, is it a compliment magnet? First, we're gonna tackle the scent. Now, the scent of this fragrance is very, very similar to the Eau de Parfum version. I would say that this is just a darker Eau de Parfum version. Like, it has less citrus, the, the grapefruit is very, very mellow, while the incense and the darker notes, the base notes, are lifted up more and more at the forefront. So this smells richer, deeper, more akin to nighttime, evening time, maybe in like a formal settings, more so than the Eau de Parfum. I'm not saying you can't use Eau de Parfum for those evening occasions, I'm just saying that this one fits that bill more. To compare all three of the Blur Chanel, starting from the original EDT to EDP to this one, Parfum, I would say that the EDT, it's more like the bright, invigorating, almost sporty feeling of like the, of the three. Like that's the EDT. The EDP is more of the well-rounder, the jack of all trades, it's in the middle, really well-rounded fragrance. The Parfum, like I said, the darker, more evening time. So if you're wondering about that, those are the differences between the three scents. Now in terms of which one is my favorite, I would have to say that um, EDT is definitely my least favorite one. The EDP and Parfum I love the most simply because they are darker and to me, those darker notes, the rich bass notes fits me more. So I lean towards the EDP and the Parfum. Moving on to performance. Now, how does this thing perform? With a name like Parfum, you would think that it would last a little bit longer than all the Parfum, right? Well, I'm gonna, <sighs> I'm gonna have to disappoint you. I was disappointed too, so you're not the only one. This thing lasts less, yes, less than the older Parfum version. It's so, so sad. Probably the saddest thing about this fragrance. Now the EDP on my skin lasts around five to six hours and projects kind of moderately for the first hour or so, but it's generally, like Bleu Chanel generally are really soft fragrances anyway, but the EDP kind of projects only for about an hour or two off my skin. This thing, however, lasts about four hours and projects less. Like it's really, really close to my skin. And I'm mad, like I, I, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not mad per se, I'm just upset. I'm upset that why, it's just why. There's no reason to make it like lighter, like perform any less. Yeah, performance sucks. Disappointed, that's all I have to say. Next we have occasion, and this is one word versatile. It can be used any time at all, summer, spring, fall, winter, any time. You might be thinking, summer, Timmy, this, uh, didn't you say it was deeper and richer and stuff? Yes, that is true, but since the performance is so weak, you can wear it in the summer. And hey, it could even be better in the summer, because in the summer the heat might help it project more, hence people can smell it off you more. So summertime, this totally works. And other season works just as well. I love wearing this in the fall, like right now when the weather is starting to get cooler, maybe in the low, in somewhere in the 80s or 70s, is really, really good. If you don't care much about other people smelling you, because they won't, and you're more into enjoying the scent for yourself personally, I like this one a lot. Like, especially in the fall, right now, it's such, such, such a perfect scent. Like, I can't tell you how much I love scent-wise. But, like I said, it's usually an indoor fragrance, so fall, winter, any season, it works just fine. You're gonna be wearing it in an office, the temperature doesn't really matter, so, you can say that this is easily a one fragrance done if you don't want a big collection. Next we have compliments. This is one thing that Bleu Chanel, EDT, and EDP are known for. This, this, however, is not. 
As, as sad as that is to say, it is not a compliment magnet for the reasons I mentioned before. You, no one really smells this off you. Like, not a lot of people. I've gotten like compliments before, but it's very, very little in comparison to the compliments I got off wearing the EDP. And mind you, when I wore the EDP, I wore it the most when I was in Alaska. The cold, cold brutalness of Alaska. I still got compliments with EDP, but Parfum, in like, you know, the warm, like hot weather of Vegas, I don't get any compliments. Well, I got like one or two, but those don't really count in comparison to the large amount of compliments that EDP gave me. And I concluded to only one thing. People just can't smell this off you. That's just the fact. It's too soft. It's too personal. This maybe will work as a cuddle scent if you're having a date with a girl you're making her dinner at home and you're cuddling you're watching a movie that will work but out on the streets maybe in the office stuff like that it's it's hard unless they're around you the first 30 minutes or the first you know 45 minutes to an hour it's a hard press for anyone to give you a compliment simply because it will be too weak by that point in time last category we have the price point is it worth your money how expensive is it <laughs> it costs just as much as a niche fragrance. It it does. This is $150 for 100 ml, 3.4 ounces, $150. That's as expensive as some niche brands out there like Andy Tower, Zoologist, Imaginary Authors is a lot cheaper. And hey, if you're if you don't care about getting authentic bottles, you only want decants, you can get 100 ml or 50 ml decants of any Creed fragrance. For cheaper than this. That's how ridiculously expensive this fragrance is. It's no longer a designer price fragrance. It's a niche price fragrance with designer quality. So take it, take that as you will. But me personally, I'm not impressed. I'm really, really not impressed. If I wasn't a reviewer, I don't think I would ever grab this bottle to be completely honest with you. But since I am a reviewer and I own this bottle, I'm happy to own it. I'm happy to own it, but would I buy it if I run out? Probably not. And would I recommend you guys to buy it? I, I just can't. I can't wholeheartedly recommend you guys to buy a bottle that's this expensive, where you can get so many other fragrances that works just the same for a cheaper price. All right, lastly, let's recap all the points with the pros and cons. Now, pro number one, the scent is massive appealing. Of course, the scent is so, so, Amazing! I love this scent. I think out of all of them, this might be my favorite scent. The EDT, the EDT, EDP, and Parfum. Parfum might just be my favorite one. And of course, the Bleu Chanel DNA is all, <laughs> it's globally known to be extremely appealing. Like my friends in Thailand love wearing the EDP or the EDT version. I, like I see people wear them all the time and it works. It just works. So, Mass Appeal DNA, absolutely. Pro number two, there's no, there's no pro number two, sorry. Con number one, con number one, the performance, it sucks. It, it just sucks. Less than EDP, unacceptable. Con number two, very expensive price. We're talking niche price for designer quality. Also to me, unacceptable. That's pretty much it for the pros and cons. Now my final words, do I recommend this to you guys? Is this fragrance a smash or a pass? On scent alone, on scent alone, I would say it's a smash. If money is absolutely zero object to you, you just want a gorgeous Bleu Chanel for maybe a formal occasion, the scent itself is a pass. But if we take every aspect, the price, the performance, everything together, all aspect together, this fragrance is an absolute, undoubtedly a pass. Especially if you already have the older parfum, or the auto toilet. You do not need this. All right, that's it for this review today. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Thank you so much for watching. And also, if you want to know more about Blur Chanel Parfum, i.e. the notes, the description, everything, all those details is going to be in the description below. You guys can go read all that. I didn't want to put the notes in the video because that would just make the video unnecessarily long. Not a lot of people are interested in notes, but if you are, every information is in the description. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.